Welcome and thank you for watching Cooking with Ash. I hope you guys are enjoying all the amazing recipes I have been posted. If you're loving those recipes, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't liked and subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please hit the subscribe button below. I've, pre I've prepared an amazing recipe for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get right into the video. Welcome back guys. So today's recipe is a side dish. Um, for Thanksgiving, I am doing a very quick, simple, not a lot of ingredients, veggie, like a saute veggie for you guys as a side dish for your Thanksgiving table. Um, you This can be used anytime. You can do it if you're making um, like a vegetable rice. You can do like sides of vegetable. Um, you can do it side like if you do grilled fish, grilled chicken. It's very healthy and it's delicious. Um, if you want to make it like healthy friendly for like a diet, you can eliminate the butter and just use a little bit of chicken stock to um, get everything going. But these are the ingredients we will be using um, to prepare our sauteed vegetable. So here in this bowl, I have here some broccoli, some bell peppers and some carrots. You can go ahead and use um, whatever vegetable you prefer on this. Um, I usually add cabbage to this. Whatever vegetable I have on hand, I just go ahead and use it. The same process um, pretty much. I have here a stick of butter and it's salted butter, guys. I have here some fresh garlic, black pepper, and a half a lemon. The, ju the lemon juice makes a big difference in this and some salt. So I am going to go ahead and show you guys how I um, break down my garlic for this because you're looking for a garlic paste. So you can use your food processor and do this step if you would like. Oops, sorry, that's my knife. I already started breaking down some um, vegetable. As you can see, the, ca the carrots stay in my, my, my cutting board already. So what I basically do, um, I like split the carrot in half and then I thinly slice it. And what I'm looking for is like carrot strips like this. So you can cut it wrong, however you prefer. It's your preference, guys. And then I go ahead and dice it up. This is a perfect recipe side dish, you know. Thanksgiving Day, we're busy cooking and we're cooking so much um, stuff. We were looking for like quick, simple dishes and not a lot of ingredients, but with a lot of flavor. I love doing this because it's very quick and easy for me. So in goes our carrot in our bowl. Now we're gonna start to break down our garlic. You can use a food processor to do this, but this is like quick and easy for me to do. I have, I don't have a mini food processor, I have a big one. So it's less work for me to go take that out and to just do a few garlics. So I just do this. This is how I break my garlic down. I give it like a, um, a smash and then a rough chop on it. And for this recipe, guys, um, do the fresh garlic. I highly recommend do the fresh garlic. Don't use... Um, garlic that you find in the store and the bottle already um, puree the fresh garlic uh, makes a world of difference the flavor comes out more and this is where my salt come in i usually add a little bit salt to it and i'm using kosher salt so the greens are like fatter so it breaks down the garlic easier for me and then i just take the back of my knife and i just press it put some muscle into it guys and if you can see like I'm getting a paste that's what I'm looking for a garlic paste and we just do it so we're looking when we're for Thanksgiving especially we make so much side dishes and we're looking for like quick easy side dishes and this is uh, I would say less than 10 minutes and it's finished you can also um, use the same steps, the same ingredients I give you guys here. 
instead of the butter use olive oil and put everything on a um, roasting pan and just mix it up with the garlic and the olive oil the veggies the little bit of black pepper and salt and just pop it into the oven while your turkey is roasting and your veggies roast the same way too you roast your veggies that way so there you have it guys this is how i break it down into a paste if you can see it turns into a paste and this is what i'm looking for so we're gonna go ahead and start the cooking process and i am going to cook my veggies in the microwave like quick like i said we're looking for quick easy steps i'm gonna start the process in the microwave and then i'm going to finish it off on the stove guys this is the step to the microwave part um very easy if you have a microwave very easy peasy pop it in the microwave pop the lid on no water or anything because i already washed the vegetable the vegetable absorbs some of that water from washing it and the vegetable have like its own juice believe me it's not gonna get dry out um if you cook it properly it wouldn't get dry out. so i just closed the microwave and um i am going to go to the the timer here and i'm gonna do three minutes and in three minutes we're gonna have perfectly cooked um veggies we just have to finish it off on the stove so i'm gonna see you guys back in that step. guys this is what my veggie look like after cooking it in the microwave three minutes and high look at that the knife goes very easily the pepper the carrot remember guys when we're doing veggie we do not want to overcook our veggie we do not want them to be soggy we're looking for a nice crunch in them still and this ensure perfect cooking always so now we're gonna start the sauteing part of the um, veggie so here i have my um, pan heating up what i'm gonna go ahead and do i'm gonna go ahead and add our stick of butter in here remember guys like i said if you do not want to use butter and you want to make this healthy you can skip the butter you can add a little bit of olive oil and saute up your um, garlic in there and um, you can use the, a little chicken stock and like steam the garlic in the chicken stock like something at least to break the garlic down a little bit of olive oil is fine and um, in all diets they do recommend some sort of fat so you could do a little bit of butter so i'm just breaking down our butter in here and i forgot to mention if you guys don't have a microwave you can steam your veggies stove top all you have to do is um heat a pot of water up add your veggies in and um, like i said do not overcook it make sure and um, the, the 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 texture wise i show you guys if you do it stove top as soon as you insert a knife and it goes like smooth in and um, it's ready you can do that stove top too so what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna go ahead and add our garlic paste that we break down into our butter. And I'm gonna let the garlic start to release its flavor into the butter. Believe me guys, this recipe is so simple, but you will tell me back in the comment section about the flavor, how delicious it is. And straight to this I'm gonna add our black pepper I'm just using a pinch of black pepper guys you can add black pepper to your taste I'm not using a lot I don't want anything to overpower the veggie and in goes our veggie and I'm gonna quickly mix everything in coat everything into that butter garlic sauce yum I can tell you guys it's smelling amazing here and look at the colors beautiful vibrant colors and the salt that i add to break down the garlic and the salt from the butter is perfect enough here you don't need to add any more and in goes our lemon juice now guys and i'm using half a lemon so it's like about from that half a lemon i got about about a probably about a teaspoon of juice lemon juice 
and that's it guys i am leaving mine with some of that juice and liquid because it's so delicious and that's it here you have it your perfect side dish for your thanksgiving table your veggie and we all know we need our veggie on that table with all the casseroles and mac and cheese and everything we'll be eating that day taking out on and the sweets we need our veggies and this is like the perfect quick simple recipe for you guys so i hope you guys enjoy this recipe i hope it makes it on your thanksgiving table i cannot wait to see the pictures you guys are gonna send me because i know some of you guys love to send me those pictures and i enjoy having them in my inbox love love the reviews you guys give me on these um, recipes thank you so much even if it's negative i i take all all reviews negative positive i love the feedback keep them coming guys so here is my delicious saute veggies i hope you guys enjoy it thank you for tuning in with me please do not forget to like and subscribe have a great thanksgiving guys love you all